you nobody so don't get used it's time for the one you wonder blues hello dear viewer and welcome to another episode of one view wonders <sighs> i've been looking at myself and i'm fat and probably one of the main reasons I'm fat is due to my daily breakfast of Jägermeister and cookies. We've got the Jägermeister right here. Let's get some breakfast. Let's see, cookies, 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 ah, cookies. Cookies. The topic is cookies, okay? Here's some videos on cookies. Well, the holidays are rapidly approaching, and yes, I include Halloween amongst the holiest of holidays. Anyhow, cookie-related videos for today. Cookies, no, no. Eating fortune cookies. I never knew how to do that. Let's watch. Hurry up, crackhead! <laughs> You're okay. Did he just say, hurry up, crackheads? Is that what they're calling it these days? Fortune cookies? Oh, those kids look like normal everyday kids. Let's take a look at your channel. Auto car repair. Huh. Nothing to do with cookies, fortunes, fortune cookies, or crack. Although, wow, lots and lots and lots of car videos. All uploaded just yesterday. That'll give me fuel for a future show, eh? Ah! Fuel! Cars! <laughs> I kill me. Okay, back to fortune cookie eating. Okay, now what? The hell is that? Do you have a sick parrot in your house or something? What? What? The brats in the hat are gonna have fortune cookies. Now they're gonna read their fortune cookies. I'm gonna get a fortune cookie too. Wait, wait. Aren't you supposed to eat Chinese food as a prerequisite? I, I think a curse will befall the man who tempts fate by eating a fortune cookie without having eaten the meal that was supposed to precede it. This is why most Chinese restaurants refuse to just give you one until you've eaten there. They're looking out for your karma, bro. Good karma. I've had about 50, 50 fortunes so far. <laughs> 50 fortunes? What is even the point, man? Are you just discarding them until you find one you like? That's not how fortunes are supposed to work, although that is how palm readers work. They just toss a bunch of shit at you until you acknowledge something. I hope you're not throwing away all those cookies. There's starving elves in the North Pole that need cookies. Mine is... You are considerate of others. That's a lie! <laughs> I'll say, you just denied 50 restaurant patrons their rightful fortunes. <laughs> Many receive advice, few profit by <laughs> Do you cough advice? That's an odd fortune. Here's advice. Don't believe everything you read. I mean, last time I had a fortune cookie, this was my fortune. The skies will rain success onto you. Ha! <laughs> if I were to believe that. There you go. Mine is, you have a natural awareness of currents flowing beneath the surface of events. Ooh. So, you will join the Navy someday and be a sailor. That's the only possible definition that could make sense there. I tell you, these fortunes are weird. Cookies are good. <laughs> that was... creepy. Nice abrupt ending to the video and a nice segue into the next. Because cookies are good, let's find someone who actually bakes them, shall we? Alright, so baking cookies, cookies, UNICORN COOKIES, HELL YEAH! Hello, friends! Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm here about the unicorn cookies. That's right, it's the pirate flag. I had a few different people say that I needed more background, so I was like, you know what? You know what? I want to see the unicorns. The background ever, and I got myself a pirate flag. So, yeah, that's the thing. For Make It Monday, today we are going to be making cotton candy flavored cookies. You wow, said unicorn great. cookies. Don't so bait and switch on me now. I'm way more excited about what we're going to do with this. Because we're not going to make these stinky little cotton candy cookies. No, we're going to make a giant unicorn head. Now we're talking the same language. I got this on sale at Target for 75 cents. Yeah, say what? And I got 
the uh, the frosting that actually goes with it for some neat sense. Gee, all this tossing around of ingredients without giving a crap about them? That brings back memories. Nice. Horrible. Delicious. Horrible memories. Weird. No! I had to go to therapy for that. Alright, let's just cut to the cooking already. You know, this lady's audio is as high as I can get it. I can barely hear what she's trying to say. As far as I can tell you, toss flour in a bowl, then butter, then eggs. Then you mush it all together and drop the camera. You would get better results following the chicken from Parappa the Rappa. We'll make a cake today that looks rich. Crack, crack, crack the egg into the bowl. Crack, crack, crack the egg into the bowl. M-I-X the flour into the bowl. M-I-X the flour into the bowl. Crack, crack, crack the egg into the bowl. Crack, crack, crack the egg into the bowl. M-I-X the flour into the bowl. M-I-X the flour into the bowl. Well, I followed what Cheap Cheap told me to do in her rap, and I ended up making a perfect cookie. Thanks, Cheap Cheap. Conversely, I made a thing, according to, what, what's the hair in there? According to Unicorn Lady's muffled instructions. I have no idea what that is. It barely looks edible. On to the next video. What's that? You want to see how the unicorn cookie came out? Oh, all right. Here are my really crappy looking cookies. This is how they came out. You promised a giant unicorn head. That there looks like one of those donkeys you ride at the Grand Canyon. Okay, last chance for cookies. Cookies, baking co- Whoa! How to make forgotten cookies? That sounds delightfully mysterious. Now this is a story all about how my- Oh. Hello. Sorry, I didn't see you there. Nobody ever does, you're fine. Welcome to La Cocina de Mi Dick. La Cocina de Mi Dick? Oh, Mi Dick. Whatever that means. I have a special guest here with me today. I'm our special guest. He's special. His name's Edward. So what will we be cooking today, Miss Mi Dick? Well, today we'll be cooking forgotten cookies oh. using a special recipe. Oh, that sounds delicious. It I'm is sure delicious. my viewers would love to see this. You, you mean my viewers. Oh. This is my show. My, what delightful and non contrived banter you have going there. So natural, so stuttery. Oh, please tell me this will last an hour, please. Now, I see some very odd ingredients to make such a fluffy bakery type. Food. Well, t this cookie came from the bowels of the dragon. It's crazy. Today we have Barilla Plus Angel Hair Spaghetti Noodles. Noodle? Oh, oh my boy was I suckered in. <laughs> I thought from the title that this would be an actual cooking show. Ha <laughs> ha! Why, oh why do people insist on the ha 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 cooking show parody is funny Zors thing? Look, sure, it can be hilarious, but you, you have to have a script, some jokes, anything to go on. Opening is pretty difficult. That glue, they make it so you don't open it in that grocery store. We should preheat the oven to 600 degrees. Oh, 600 degrees. 600 degrees. Not many people can raise their oven to 600 degrees. Oh, 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 oh 600 degrees. <laughs> That's so hot. Eight minutes of this, too. <laughs> ah, okay, let's skip to the predictable ending where the guy takes over the lady's show and she comes back screaming. I'm so happy, oh, look at that lucky me. This week on La Cocina de Edward, we will be cooking something very delicious and scrumptious. Are you serious? This is oh! Delicious? Oh! 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 <laughs> Oh god, they kill me! Ha <laughs> ha! There needs to be more of this on YouTube! Ha <laughs> ha! There's so not enough of this on YouTube! Oh, this is such an original and awesome idea! <laughs> okay, folks, that's enough of that. 
Till next time, dear viewer.